Hi everyone. Today we're going to look at how to set up a Raspberry Pi Zero without a monitor, keyboard, or mouse. Before we get started, there's a link in the video description with written instructions if you'd like to follow along. This video is broken down into four sections. The first is how to download the Raspberry Pi Imager from the official Raspberry Pi website. The second is how to write the Raspberry Pi operating system to the SD card. In the third section, we will take a look at how to configure your Raspberry Pi to accept SSH connections and set up your Wi-Fi connection details. The final section shows how to connect to your Raspberry Pi through SSH using PuTTY. PuTTY isn't required for this step as you can use your favorite SSH tool if you'd like. I have included timestamps in case you'd like to fast forward to the part you need help with. Let's get started. Navigate to the Raspberry Pi website and download the Raspberry Pi Imager for your operating system. After the download is finished, install the application. When the application has finished installing, launch the tool and select Choose OS. From here, you will select the operating system you'd like to install. For this video, I will be installing the light version of the Raspberry Pi operating system. The next step is to choose your SD card and select Write. Make sure that you don't have any important data on your SD card as all existing data will be lost. After the Raspberry Pi operating system has been installed, we will configure our Raspberry Pi to accept SSH commands. To do this, create a new file named SSH without a file extension in the boot partition of your SD card. This step is the only necessary step to configure SSH. If you would like to configure Wi-Fi, create a file in your boot partition called WPA underscore supplicant dot CONF. In the text of this file, you must enter a block of code with your Wi-Fi configuration information. I've included the block of code in my written instructions in the video description. After this information has been added, save the file, eject your SD card, and install it in your Raspberry Pi. The final step is to connect to your Raspberry Pi via SSH. For this, I am using PuTTY, which you can find the download link for in my written instructions. By default, your hostname will be Raspberry Pi without any spaces. If the Raspberry Pi hostname is not working, you will need to find your Raspberry Pi's IP address using your router's admin page or an IP address scanner. After you initially connect, you will get a warning message. Select yes to proceed. You can now log in using the default username, which is Pi, and the default password, which is Raspberry. Congratulations, you are now connected to your Raspberry Pi through SSH. This concludes our tutorial. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Please leave any technical related questions in the comments and I will do my best to get back to you. Thank you for watching.